You got the bless you, brother. Um, we've got someone else on the line. Um, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Can you tell us who are you? Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? I'm an ex-Muslim. You are ex-Muslim? Um, yeah. Can you tell me Muhammad is false prophet? Yeah, Muhammad was not a prophet. <laughs> okay. Um, so we are talking about the preservation of the Quran, and especially we are Muslims are asking the question, which version of the Quran is in the eternal tablets? What have you got to share with us on that topic? And then after that, yeah, I will um, be asking you, why are you ex-Muslim? Sure. Um, it's a it's a great question to ask, and uh, you're right. I don't think there is an answer to the question. Um, I think this whole idea of the Quran being preserved is flawed on so many different levels and in so many different ways, as you guys are pointing out. I love the work that you guys do, both uh, you, Hatun, and, and you, Jay. Um, and I, I uh, hope you guys continue doing what you're doing. Um, what I wanted to like um, ask or just share is uh, uh, about the work that's being done currently in Australia. Like if you can maybe share some of uh, what's what is happening there and then um my what what i like like a lot of muslims will kind of defend the quran um based on um saying that uh, the rasam hasn't been changed and it's just the the kira that are different and so i was wondering if you can maybe elaborate on some of the work that's being done yeah. to uh, talk about the rasam yeah. and the difference in the actual rasam yeah, I'll just make a quick comment. Um, so, Umar, um, first of all, when we look at the Islamic tradition, we get to see even when Uthman compiled the Quran um, in 652, when that Quran is being copied and then sent it to the different cities, there were razum differences between the Qurans which has been sent around. So I think it will be just double disgraceful if any Muslim is still making such a claim that Razum is exactly the same. That is not the case. A um, couple of months ago, we even showed some examples where Razums are different from one uh, manuscripts to other manuscripts, as well as there are um, different Razums, different um, consonantal letters um, without dots um, in, in the Qurans as well. Yeah. Um, so that's that, that's, that's something um, that's something uh, needs to be kind of um, be aware of, as well as um, Dan Brubaker put together um, examples after examples how there were differences between early manuscripts. So you've got Uthman's Qurans, as it's been copied and then sent out. There are rhythm differences. You've got mm -hmm. um, today's Qurans shows that there are rhythm differences between them, like words are missing or in some Qurans the word is there. And then also manuscripts evidence shows us that there are um, rhythm differences. Um, okay. uh, yeah, Dan Baker's material is very, very helpful as well as um, Islamic tradition. Even Tayyar al Clutch's material is very helpful where he puts forward some differences as well. Um, Brother Jai, um, do you want to add anything on this at this stage? Yeah. Now, now when we go pre-Uthman, as you said, you can show differences. Clearly, there's differences in the Rasum, and Muslims wouldn't necessarily disagree with that either. They might just say these are these are part of the Ahruf, whatever those mm -hmm. are. They, there are different Muslims with different theories on that. But after, after this uh, canonization or, or canonization in Frothman, uh this official codex that there or codices that he made, scholars have noted that there are differences even in the Rasam between these different codices. So, for example, the one sent to Syria, for example, they'll classify uh, the one sent to all, all the different regions that they're sent to. There are what people today scholars today call scribal errors now older muslim scholars like uh you have um ibn abi dawood um adani they, they mentioned in their in their books these regional they call them like they didn't call them regional differences that's what people call them today but they they would note differences for example like the famous one that we talk about here a lot is there's like the missing kuwa in the verse 
the one like mm-hmm. that is the word who are there or not this is a rasam difference so yeah. Yeah. there are many like that i think there's upwards of around 40 different examples more than yeah. that as uh, different scholars give different counts you have michael cook he has this kind of he's the one who gave this whole theory on the regional variants shali nasser notes them um Haytham Sidki mm-hmm. notes them so these are different modern scholars you can go to to talk uh, to talk about these rustum differences between the different readings today yeah and that's great <clears throat> yeah that's uh, helpful to um you know hear about that um as a reminder like yeah i know that you guys have talked about it but maybe it's just uh it's not as talked about as the differences in the kira the recitations that are out there um, so we have and, um what we are saying is reputation is important so we repeat mm-hmm. again and again and then hopefully mm-hmm. they will have proper response as we kind of repeat we can go through rasm differences and then make a live stream about it or even put short videos regarding that we kind of looked at in the past um umar just a practical question are you um mm-hmm. you you expressed yourself as an ex-muslim um yeah. are you just ex-Muslim atheist, agnostic, or are you um, ex-Muslim who is Christian now? I'm an ex-Muslim, um, I guess you could say agnostic or okay. atheist, yeah. So um, why did you, can you be kind enough and tell us why did you give up Islam? And what is your reason today that you are not Christian? Um, I uh, I think it's uh, a lot to do with um, my personal personality. I'm, um, I guess I'm not someone who uh, cares about uh, belonging to a group uh, necessarily. I I seek out the truth wherever it may be, and um, I'm willing to you know uh, you know drop a community if I have to um, you know because uh, uh, you know I, I I had friends and stuff and you know I still have some friendships but I've lost many of them because of my um, you know my beliefs now. Um, so it was, uh, probably around 10 years ago that I, um, uh, lo- like left Islam and, um, it was basically because of, uh, research and, uh, discussions. I used to read a lot and, uh, I think the internet ha- plays a huge role just the ac- access to all the free information out there just, uh, opens your eyes to, you know, um, all the different think thoughts and uh, ideas out there, and so you know, I used to read a lot of uh, answering uh, answering Islam, answering Christianity. Uh, I used to go back and forth between those websites. I used to go through um, Islamic awareness website, and you know, I just used to read, you know, read a lot, and and uh, just slowly, slowly chip, chipped away at my belief, even though I wanted to hold on to it. It just, it just couldn't. Um, so, after uh, fighting so many different things. So in, ca- in case yeah. people are not aware of the ch- um, web page you are mentioning, Answering Islam is um, the page by Act 17 Apologetics. Answering Christianity is a polemist um, page where it is all about like attacking Christian faith and Christians and even Christian missionaries. Islamic Awareness is... Um, another website which they usually stole other people's material and then put it there. Both of them are mainly focused on uh, how to deal with um, c- Christian missionaries, how to deal with the, it's supposed to be how to deal with their objections. Um, but as you kind of looked into them, they cause you to give up Islam. You are not satisfied by what you yeah. read, correct? Yeah, yeah. There's just, there's just too many, too many issues, too many problems. Like, um, and it just it's hard to hold on to uh hard, hard to hold on to your belief if you if you really are seeking truth you know like a lot of people they're comfortable like half i would say half or more than half of muslims are uh culturally muslim they're muslim by name muslim just because you know that's that's what they know um and then there's just a few that uh are um actually serious about islam and 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 uh study it and and uh they they are fooled basically by the uh islamic scholars the apolog- apologists uh that uh you know feed them a certain story and and uh you know i guess if you if you think critically you could see through uh, through all of it you know it's it's a, a lot of the there's so much out there that that's just basically either 
blatant lies or you know just uh, bad explanations, bad defenses against uh, Islam. Uh, you know, like just uh, Islam just doesn't stand um, and uh, critical thinking. So um, yeah, I uh, that's that's where uh, where I am today, and I'm just uh, always open to learning more and and discovering wherever the truth may be. Okay. Um, so um, yeah. have you have you so we not we heard your reasoning that you are not Muslim anymore, <laughs> you are not made for mm -hmm. Islam. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's the phrase um, another ex-Muslim told me on Sunday. He's he was not made for Islam. Um, what is what is it? What is it keeps you like? Have you have you checked the uh, biography of Lord Jesus Christ? Have you read the Bible? What are your reasons that you are not Christian today? So we can um, answer some of your objections. Um, well, I, I did read the Bible um, I, several, I think probably more than 10 years ago. Um, I have a few copies of the Bible and um, I live in a Christian, con Christian uh, influenced country. Um, so I've, you know, I've been around Christians all my life and, uh, you know, um, I, I, I mean, in terms of, uh, the issues that I have with religion, um, in general and in, um, with the concept of, uh, uh, God and, uh, his attributes or, um, th those, those things kind of flow across with other religions as well. So it's, it's. You know, so, um, um, instead of issues with the religions, what is your issue with Christ? What is your issue with Christian God? Like, what is your objection? Why you are not a Christian today? Um, I'm not so sure. I mean, I, 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 I used to, like I mentioned, I used to read a lot on, um, like, the inter-religious uh, arguments. And so, like, you know, I mentioned that one website. So there was a lot of, you know, things that I went through that were brought up. Um, I, a lot of it was, you know, I would admit there were probably stupid arguments, but there were some that, um, I mean, it's been a while since I've looked at that stuff. You know, I've kind of uh, uh, haven't been into too much of it um, uh, recently, but, you know, those sorts of arguments that are out there, um, they make me question uh, Christianity as well as the fact that, uh, um, there are a lot, a lot of uh, people leaving religion in general and Christianity specifically in the West. So, like that, those types of ideas uh, that um, that the, the data that's out there makes me uh, not really spend too much time, more more time into it. You know, uh, looking into it. So. Um, well, um, people, um, the 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 uh, the life we live is. Um, People simply change, um, I don't know, their beliefs or their feelings as often they change underwear. So therefore, I think it is not very, it is not very sure. wise to say, oh, because people are giving up the religions, therefore I'm not going to look into it. I think that's not very sure. wise things to do as well as, sure. um, I don't know. Um, Brother Jai, um, so we, um, Omar is on the line. He expressed that he is... Um, ex-Muslim and um, he gave us a couple of reasons um, and um, he's kind of I'm not sure um, if I'm very clear regarding why he's not a Christian today um, besides like he's got issues with religion as well as people in the West are living uh, faith which I, I, I think that that I wouldn't say that's the case because I know lots of people are turning to Lord Jesus Christ but Brother Jai um, what have you got for us what would you like to kind of comment or um, share um, I, I, I don't have much to add to what you were saying previously, but I will say that uh, how people live their lives should be tested against what the religion teaches. So if people are living their, their lives in a, in a certain way that reflects the teachings of Christianity, then that's good. And then you can test Christianity based on how accurately, you know, someone might be living out the Bible in a faithful sense or something like that, mm -hmm. but someone who is leaving the faith or someone who is uh, living their lives in a hypocritical way tests how they live versus what the Bible says. And then if they're not being consistent with that, then that's not a good witness or way to tell what Christianity looks like. Sure. 
Yeah, that's fair. Um, you know, I'm, I, I've been uh, been in touch with a few Christians on uh, these live show YouTube shows recently, and I promised that I, you know, revisit the Bible, and uh, yeah. so I will. I will do that, and you know, just uh, make sure that I'm not missing out on anything that's. Uh, um, just, yeah, just read the biographies of Lord Jesus Christ and then put down your questions and then call in and then we discuss them because, yes, uh, we are happy that you left Islam. Islam is like seriously, seriously, just very dangerous ideology. But uh, we know heart of our God is wants the people to turn to him. Uh, yeah. Those who identify Jesus as Messiah and the eternal son of God they will have eternal life with him. So that's that's why we are here. Um, do since like we, we don't lose our reading skills, we don't lose our research skills. So please do read the biographies of um, Jesus and then call in with your objections and then we um, we discuss them. If that's okay. With okay. You. Thank you very okay. much for your time. And, yeah, and then we will do some um, short videos or live streams regarding the. Um, Rasms, um, different rasms in the earliest Qurans as well as today's Quran. Yeah, um, thank that you would very be awesome. much for reminding that us again. Thank you. Thank and thank you very much for calling in, um, Brother Jai. I must say, like you 